Hello guys, welcome back again. So now here in this session, terms of payment itself is going to be explained, but practically I'll show you guys how to configure this terms of payment. So now, in order to configure the terms of payment, you have to use transaction code OBB8. OB B8 transaction code. And here you need to click on new entry. Give your code. I'm going to give TM30. You can give any code, guys. And once whatever code we have given here, right? Once the code which is given here, that cannot be uh, used. Let's suppose if you are going to do the practice, and even if you are also using the same server, whatever server, let's suppose if you have taken uh, the server connections from me. Uh, then uh, what to say in this server it means in this server itself you guys are also going to do your configuration so tm30 you cannot use uh, let's suppose you are going to set up a different company code so as for that you can decide your terms of payment code so it could be numeric it could be alphabetic it could be alphanumeric both now here so i have given here this code you have to give apart from this i says it is going to be given 30 days right so look at here guys here so here i'm going to give 30 okay and number of days here in number day, number of days means in how many days it is going to be due so that is going to be given here and look at here explanations it is showing right now payable immediately due, due date okay so here if you press enter immediately the explanation is going to be changed press enter and look at here within 30 days due date the explanations as per whatever we are going to give here as per that the explanation is going to be changed so here i am going to keep the same name here under text field okay and your own explanations means let's suppose if you want to give details in a different language then you can give here like let's suppose there are certain language which is uh you know acceptable in sap so whether it is like uh, chinese or german or arabic or, or french like few languages are there that is going to be acceptable so you can if you want to give a descriptions even in a different language also can be possible now the major important things you have to see here in terms of payment and if somebody is going to ask the questions from terms of payment they will ask a question what do you mean by baseline date so that you need to focus what is this baseline date right so look at here guys the baseline date is this one this is okay so now what is this baseline date now so baseline date could be look at here so we are having no default posting date entry date document date okay so i'll show you now here generally what happens i'll just do one thing okay. so now baseline date First of all, yeah, I need to save it. Let me save it. Press enter. Now here in, in baseline date. So what is going to be baseline date, guys? I'll tell you. System is saying that baseline date could be like posting date, document date, entry date, or no default. These four options are there. So we need to understand what is this baseline date. Now, generally, I'll quote an example here because posting date. Let's suppose there is an invoice there is an invoice which we have received uh, from vendor since we are in account payable so let's suppose take example of vendor itself there is an invoice which we have received from vendor okay so on the invoice what will happen guys invoice date is going to be printed invoice date is going to be printed guys right so that invoice date is let's suppose this is the invoice date which is printed on the invoice so this is called either invoice date either it is invoice date or else it is called document date also okay document date also either you can say invoice date or you can say in document i'm typing in shortcut guys the invoice date or document date both are same so whatever the date is printed on invoice that is called document date okay now the next one is called posting date let's suppose this invoice vendor had sent through courier and we have received on this date so when we have received guys 
we have received on 5th. So, see, as per accounting rules, generally the transaction must be posted whenever it is taking place. So, once you have received the invoice, it means what is happening, guys? It means vendor has sent you the invoice, it means this is a kind of transaction you must have to post it. So, if it is received on 5th, then it was supposed to be posted on 5th itself. It is supposed to be posted on 5th itself. So what is happening? This is called posting date. It means the date on which invoice is going to be posted. Right? Now, but the problem is, let's suppose whoever the user is there, in the sense, data monitor employee, let's suppose whoever the responsible person is there who is going to post the invoices. This invoice we have received on the, like, let's suppose, post lunch in the sense like after 2 p.m. So what will happen this invoice let's suppose post 2 p.m. This this invoice has been received and whoever the user is there let's suppose thought okay I'll just do one thing I'll post this invoice tomorrow. I'll post this invoice tomorrow. So in that case what is happening guys the invoice is going to be posted on which date it is going to be posted on this date. Okay. So this is called entry date. This is called an entry date. But the thing is, generally what is happening while posting the invoice, what that guy is going to do? Now here, I'll just show you. So invoice, let's suppose it is, it is received. If you go to, let's suppose FB60 is the transition code by which we are posting the invoices, right? So here vendor number is given, right? Invoice received on 01 08 2000. So this document date. Posting date supposed to be. It is supposed to be posted on. It is supposed to be posted on. Uh, what to say? Fifth. But today is sixth. Right. In posting date, I'm going to be fifth only. Fifth. What is the sixth? So invoice date I have given 01. In the sense, first of August, posting date I have given fifth of August, right? But in background, automatically, once you post a transaction, in background system is going to, and that is going to be updated in the form of entry date. This is why SAP is like, let's suppose. So that is what I'm saying, guys. If somebody is trying to post the invoices in a back date, right? Still, during audit, auditor will come to know that on which date exactly it was posted. So in entry date field, and we don't have any control. Document date, you can keep whatever you want. Posting date, you can keep whatever you want, but you don't have any control on entry date, guys. This is going to be updated by system automatically, and in that always current date is going to be updated. So even though what is happening, guys, in posting date, we have given fifth itself, but the entry is going to take place on this date, so in entry date field, it is going to be updated sixth only, right? So these two things on these two dates, we are having control on entry date, we don't have control. Now the question is here, the question is like, okay, again, there'll be a, a question in your mind, why I'm explaining these things. So of course there is a reason to explain this. I said that, okay, we agreed that invoices are going to be due in 30 days. So now the question is, 40 days from which date right if 30 days is going to be calculated from document date a different due date is going to be from posting date a different due date is going to be calculated or sometime if entry date is different then different due date is going to be calculated right so this is also supposed to be negotiated with the vendor and as per that once you set up the terms of payment here that we are going to decide that okay it is posting date if it is posting it, select this posting it. So what will happen guys, whenever the invoice is going to be posted, whenever invoice is going to be posted, system is going to calculate the due date from this, from this date. If you have selected, if you have selected, I want to say uh, this invoice date, then what is happening guys? Invoice date is nothing but document date. So here you have to select document date. So, 30 days is going to be calculated from this one. I'll show you practically. Just do one thing, save it. Okay. And then whatever terms of payment we have defined, guys, this terms of payment is going to be assigned to the vendor master. So you just do one thing, guys. Just go to vendor master first. That's an XK02. 
and here is our vendor mark set click on payment transactions because in this field what is happening terms of payment will let you so directly we are going to reach over there itself. and if you remember uh, previous in previous session as i told you like you just do one thing give any uh, standard terms of payment in the sense predefined terms of payment for the time being so now we are going to replace this and which terms of payment have defined tm30 okay so now you guys know the logic behind this so tm30 means invoices are going to be due in 30 days and while posting the invoice automatically the system is going to trigger this terms of payment from vendor master right if you go to fp60 now here give your vendor master number and invoice date let's suppose now i'm going to give a different invoice date here this is posting date is 19th so invoice date i'm going to give 15 08 a particular amount okay any amount can be given let's suppose here this is the amount i have given right okay if you press enter now so in terms of payment what is happening guys baseline date which one baseline date we have selected 19th of this one i'll come back here now so here baseline date let's suppose 15th this is the date on which sorry 19th okay on this date and this is 15th okay now what is happening ignore this one. okay so now what is happening guys 30 days calculation is supposed to happen from which date posting date or document date so first of all which terms of payment system is going to consider guys so terms of payment already we have assigned in the vendor master tm30 and what is the setting in tm30 guys the setting is like tm30 means invoices are going to be due in 30 days and 30 days is going to be calculated from posting date so from posting date what is happening guys from posting date what will happen from posting date 30 days if it is going to be calculated so it should be calculated it means it should be 18 2020 why because august is of 31 days right so this would be this should be the due date if you talk about the invoice is going to be due like uh, on which date it is going to be due so 18th of September. How? Look at here. Now you need to click on payment tab. Look at here, guys. Baseline date. What system has copied in baseline date? Posting date itself is going to be copied in the form of this baseline date. And from here, system is going to add 30 days. And look at here. Invoice is going to be due on 18th of 09. This is how the calculation is pretty simple guys save it if you are going to save it and you can got posted so here what is happening is here generally whatever terms of payment we have defined and whatever terms of payment you have assigned in the vendor master system with that terms of payment so no need to remember the terms of payment right because we have assigned here in vendor master the terms of payment which whatever you have given in vendor master that is assigned here sorry uh, the terms of payment whichever we have given in vendor master automatically system is going to trigger from there so in the same way multiple terms of payment can be defined like tm45 tm60 can be defined and respective whatever the different different because multiple vendors also will be there and as i told you that every vendor with every vendor there will be certain contract okay in the sense like certain negotiations will be there certain agreement will be there in uh, and that too in terms of payment so now as per that we are going to define some vendor say like 60 days the payment supposed to happen in 60 days so what will happen we are going to create another terms of payment in 60 days that is for 60 days that is you need to remember the terms of payment yeah. configurations you need to if this terms of payment is going to be assigned in the vendor master and while posting the invoices automatically system is going to calculate the due date Right? now so invoices are going to be due after 30 days 40 days 45 days or 60 days based on the terms of payment itself okay so that's all uh, in this session guys in this session next session i'm going to do one more thing guys i'll explain uh, as i told you the discounts and all right so i'll in next session i'm going to explain uh, terms of payment with discount